we have placed one object before a mirror. This is a concave mirror. This is an object AB which is placed before it. Now, according to the rules, we have made an image. From point A, we have taken two rays. One goes parallel to the principal axis and after reflection, it passed through focal length. It passed through focus, goes in this direction. The other one, which is passing through center, is reflected back in the same direction. It goes to the mirror from center. It is in radial direction. At right angle, it reflected back in the same direction. Now, this reflected ray and this reflected ray, they intersect at this point and when we observe from here, when we observe from here, in our eyes, this will come and this will come and it shows that both are coming from this point. So, this point appears to be image of A from where these two rays are reflected. So, this is image of a at this point. Now, image of B will be on the principal axis and there is a right angle. So, we draw a perpendicular. This is the location of B and we get A dash B dash as image of AB. Now, here there are certain distances and we want to find out relation. From focus to pole, the distance is F the object is placed at certain distance and this distance we take as u. So, u is what? Distance of the object from pole. Then the distance of image from the pole is taken as v and the focal length that is focus from pole is taken as f we have to find out relation between V, U and F. Remember, out of these three quantities, focal length is the one which is a constant because that is a property of this mirror and mirror has been made. Whenever we are bringing it closer or away, we are changing U and accordingly, we also keep on changing. So, U and V keep on changing, F remains constant and we have a relation between V, U and F. That relation between V, U and F is known as mirror formula. So, here with the help of geometry and by the principles of physics, we will find mirror formula. So, here we take geometry first. This is AB. These two lines are parallel. This is normal. So, we draw a normal from here and this normal which we will call as uh, let us say M N. This M N normal will be equal to A B. Because this curvature is very small, we can assume that P and N are not much distance. They are almost at the same point. Now, here is a triangle B dash F A dash A dash B dash F and F M N. These two are similar triangles. Why these are similar triangles? These angles are equal to each other opposite angles. This is a right angle. This is a right angle. So, third angle has to be equal. So, they are similar triangles. So, we start from this point F M N F M N and triangle A dash B dash F A dash B dash F are similar. Okay, I will not write a proof here that you used to write in lower classes. Okay. If these two are parallel to each other, then the ratio of the sides will also be equal. What is the ratio of the sides? We can write like this upon this is equal to this upon this. So, 
this is mp upon a dash b dash is equal to f n f n upon f b dash f b dash okay now we know that this mp is equal to mp sorry mn i should have written mn we know that this mn this mn is equal to a b these two are parallel these two are perpendiculars so this we can rewrite as a b upon a dash b dash is equal to f n f n okay upon f b dash f b dash f n upon f b dash f n i know this is equal to f so i don't disturb it but f b is neither u nor v nor f so i change a little bit so you have to remember that f b dash has to be changed how we can change it f b dash is equal to take this total line what is this p b dash minus p f p b dash minus p f how much it is see p b dash minus p f so this is f b dash this is f b dash so f b dash is placed like this okay i close it here now i take two other triangles which are this and this in triangles abc abc and c a dash b dash c a dash b dash these two angles opposite angles are equal this ab and a dash b dash normal and therefore third angle will be equal these two are similar triangles similar if these are similar triangles then again we write the ratio ab upon a dash b dash a dash b dash is equal to bc bc upon b dash c bc upon b dash c now in this again we will make the changes bc upon b dash c this bc how can we change it so this is equal to uh bc is equal to u minus this place this is r okay so this is bc we can write as u no not u here first all geometrical terms so this will be bp minus cp bp minus cp is equal to bc so bc i have written like this then b dash c b dash c is again this is from this b dash c b dash c only this much distance this now from here to here this distance is equal to this place this place we know this distance okay so we will write it b dash c as cp minus b dash p cp minus b dash p okay so this is equation number 2 now in equation number 1 and equation number 2 1 and 
वन एंड टू है सिमिलर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज सिमिलर ओके देयर फोर आर एच एस विल ऑल्सो बी सिमिलर देयर फोर आर एच एस एफ एन अपॉन पी बी डैश माइनस पी एफ इज इक्वल टू बी पी माइनस सी पी अपॉन सी पी माइनस बी डैश पी दिस इज द जोमेट्रिकल रिलेशन वी हैव गॉट एंड आफ्टर दैट लेट एस पुट द वैल्यूज वट इज एफ एन एफ एन इज फोकल लेंथ वट इज द साइन ऑफ दिस फोकल लेंथ दिस इज ए लेंथ विच इज ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड सो दिस विल बी माइनस एफ माइनस आई विल राइट इट हेयर माइनस एफ पी बी डैश पी बी डैश दिस इज वी एंड वट इज द साइन माइनस सो दिस इज पी बी डैश माइनस वी दिस माइनस पी एफ पी एफ इज अगेन माइनस एफ माइनस एफ ओके दिस इज डन इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू बी पी बी टू पी इज इक्वल टू यू एंड इट इज अगेन माइनस माइनस यू माइनस दिस माइनस सी पी सी टू पी इज आर विच इज इक्वल टू टू एफ माइनस टू एफ ओके डिवाइडेड बाय अगेन सी पी माइनस टू एफ माइनस बी डैश पी बी डैश टू पी बी डैश टू पी इज वी दिस इज माइनस वी You will find all so many minus are there. No problem. Both sides we will multiply with minus, so all the minus will become plus. Okay, you will have to write it this way, and then the next step make them all plus. So this is f upon v plus into minus v minus f. is equal to is equal to u plus into minus minus u minus 2f upon this is minus minus this will become plus this will become plus and plus into minus is minus so this is 2f minus 1v this is the relation okay simply logical now uh we have to do certain operations like we have to simplify this okay there may be many types of simplifications we will simply cross multiply it so this will be 2f square minus fv is equal to here first multiply with v v u Minus two v f multiply with minus f, so this will be minus f u plus two f square. Okay, let us see for all the cancellations. Two f square, two f square cancelled. Okay, f v minus f v. This is minus two f v. so what do we get here is see this 2 vf i bring on this side so this will be plus 2 vf and this will be f 1 minus and this 2 will be plus so 1 plus okay this i bring on this side so this will be plus f u is equal to this is gone this is gone 
this is cancelled, only this is remaining V u. Now, this is the relation we get between V u and f, but it does not look good. So, we make a simplification, divide with V into u into f, all the three, V u f. So, divide this, so this will be 1 upon u plus this will be 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon f. So, we get this relation between u, v and f which is a very simple and clear cut relation. This is known as mirror formula. Okay. So, this is the dis relation between different distances. We have another uh, very important feature. You have seen sometimes image becomes larger, sometimes image become shorter and that ratio between the two sizes is known as magnification. So, next lecture we will see what is the magnification formula in the mirrors. Okay? So, in the next lecture we will see that. Thank you.